Yeah. All right, welcome everyone to episode three of Jeopardy! Schmier Studios. I'm Craig, your host. Uh, today we have our returning winner, Zach, who last episode won $10,000 in the end. Uh, and we have newcomers, Anna and Ben, who are going to try to beat him today. Uh, but we'll get to them later and uh, hear their introductions after round one. So we are going to start off round one today with the following categories. We have serial killers, an apple a day. Every answer in that category will include a type of apple. Quick maths, sleep tight, and American inventors. All right, Zach, since you're the winner of uh, the previous round, you get to go first. So where would you like to start? Uh, let's do serial killers for 200. All right. This killer clown is most known as the third, or is known as the third most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. Zach? Who is John Wayne Gacy? Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's do serial killers for 400. Londoner Aaron Kaminsky is thought to be this serial killer. Zach? Who is Jack the Ripper? Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's keep it going for 600. Though most of his known murders were committed in the Western US, this serial killer received the electric chair in Florida. Zach? Oh wait, quick question. Anna, did you lower Anna. your hand from last time? I don't know, I think so. I think Anna got it first, <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, then Anna. Um, he just had the, uh, Ted Bundy. Yes, that's correct. Who's Ted Bundy? Okay, Anna? Um, let's do an apple a day for 200. Oh, sorry. Yeah, an apple a day for 200. For, okay, for 200, perfect. This popular song by Jay-Z featuring Alicia Keys debuted in 2009. Anna? Empire State of Mind? Yes. Remember to answer in the form of a question. I apologize. <laughs> um, let's do Apple, Apple a Day for 400. It's an annual fundraising event for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City. Zach? What is the Met Gala? Yes, that's correct. Um, we'll do serial killers for 800. Also known as the Son of Sam, or the 40, .44 caliber killer, he pled guilty to eight separate shooting attacks in New York City that began in the summer of 1976. Anyone? All right, the correct answer is, who is David Berkowitz? Zach, back to you. Uh, let's do a serial killer for a thousand. All right. In the Guinness Book of World Records, as the most prolific female murderer, she practiced Vampirism on girls and young women. I should say murder. All right, the correct answer was who's Elizabeth Bathory? All right, Zach, you pick again. Uh, let's do an apple a day for 600. All right. What John Smith might call his father's mom. Zach. Uh, what is Granny Smith? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll do an apple a day for 800. 800. This active volcano southwest of Tokyo is Japan's tallest peak. Zach? Oh, uh, what is Mount Fuji? Yes, that's correct. And then we'll do it for a thousand. Okay. Part of the SUNY school system, this college's mascot is Blaze the Red Dragon. Anna? Um, what is Cortland? Yes, that's correct. All right, Anna, you pick. Um, let's do sleep tight for 200. Okay. The temporary inability to move or speak while falling asleep or waking up. Zach? Um, what is sleep paralysis? Uh, yes, that's correct. Just in the nick of time. Uh, we'll do sleep tight for 400. Darkness prompts the pineal gland to start producing this natural hormone, which helps regulate the sleep cycle. Zach? What is melatonin? Yes, that's correct. Um, we'll do sleep for six, uh, 600. Abbreviated as REM, this phase of sleep is characterized by fast breathing, increased heart rate, and brain activity similar to that seen while awake. Zach? What is rapid eye movement? Yes, that's correct. 
Um, sleep type for 800. This sleep disorder occurs when one's breathing temporarily stops during sleep. Zach? The sleep apnea? Yes, that's correct. And then sleep type for 1,000. Thanks to an old quirky law, it's illegal to buy one of these on a Sunday in the state of Washington. Best plan your sleeping arrangements ahead of time. Anyone? Zach? Was a bed? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Anna? Oh, I was gonna say, what is a pillow? That's incorrect. Ben? What is a mattress? That's correct. Ooh. You're on the board. All right, Ben, you pick. Uh, quick math, it's 200. Two plus two minus one, <laughs> Zach. Oh, what a three. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Quick maths, good job. <laughs> uh, we'll do quick maths for 400. Okay. Three minus four times five. Anna? Um, negative 27. Negative 17. Uh, uh, sorry. Ben was next on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say 17, but I'm, I don't know. I'll just say 17. No, that's incorrect. Zach? Was it negative 17? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> OK. All right, Zach, you pick. Um, let's do American Avengers or 200. OK. He invented the cotton gin in 1793. Zach? Was Eli Whitney? That's correct. Um, inventors for 400. He was the first awarded with a successful patent for the telephone. Zach? Who was Alexander Graham Bell? Yes, that's correct. Um, and then inventors for 600. That is our daily double on this board. So you have $4,600 right now. How much would you like to wager? Uh, I'll wager 1600 1600 All right, writing it down on the calculator. Here we go. This inventor holds the most patents in U.S. history. By the time he died in 1931, he amassed 1,093. Who is Thomas Edison? That's correct. Thomas Edison. All right. So you have 6200 All right, and you still control the board. Uh, we'll do it for 800. Okay. This American inventor d designed the first commercially successful steamboat and the first steam warship. Zach? Shoot. Uh, who is... Uh, I Time is up. up. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? All right, the correct answer is, who is Robert Fulton? Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll do it for 1,000. Known as the father of the American factory system, he escaped Britain and introduced the first water-powered cotton mill to America. The correct answer is, who is Samuel Slater? Mm. All right, Zach. Uh, quick maths for, 60, uh, for 600. It's a derivative of x squared. Ben? X. What is x? No, oh, okay. <laughs> Anna? What is 2x? Yes, that's correct. Oh, sorry. That should have said what is 2x. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> and you were not correct. <laughs> um, Anna, did I add to your score? No, not yet. I get it. Sorry. Let me... Uh, perfect. Okay. Anna, you pick. Quick math for 800. Okay. 9 times 13. Ben? What is 117? That's correct. All right, and we'll do the final question. The cubic root of 343. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, um, oh. All right. Unfortunately, the time has run out. The correct, oh, okay. The correct answer is seven. Sorry. All right, so finishing up round one, we have Zach at 5,400. Anna at 1,000 and Ben at 800, but it's still anyone's game going into double jeopardy. There will be plenty of points on the board. But before we do that, let's get to know our players a little bit. So first, uh, I'll start with Anna since she's at the top of my screen. Um, Anna is a processing supervisor from Long Island. And Anna, I heard earlier today that you didn't know the logo on a bar of Dove soap was a Dove until you were in high school. Is this yes. true? That is correct. 
what did you think it was? I didn't think it was, I thought it was a two, it looked like a toupee to me, like hair. I didn't <laughs> realize it was a dove. And then someone said like it was a dove and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. That, that would make sense, exactly. I'm bad with logos, that happens to me a lot. That's very fair. <laughs> All right, next up is Zach, who is a consulting analyst from Chicago. Now, Zach, last time you were here, you told us about the enormous bean bag that you ordered for your apartment, and we hear yeah. you have an update on it. I did. Unfortunately, we had to sell it in part with it. Um, put it up on Facebook Marketplace, and a nice couple came up and picked it up the next day. Uh, it's in a nicer home now. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, but it's in high demand, so you definitely should have held on to it longer. All right, Ben. Uh, ben is our analyst and recreational game designer from Ohio. And Ben, I hear that you've read every Agatha Christie book. This is true. Yep. True. <laughs> What's your favorite book that she's written? Uh, probably one of her most popular ones. Uh, and then there, there were none. Yes, that's a classic. I do love that. I book. had that Wii game. There's a Wii game for that. There's a mm -hmm. Wii game for that? Wii game. Oh, wow. I have to look into that. All right, perfect. Well, it's nice to uh, get to know everyone a little better. But now we are going to move on to Double Jeopardy. So our categories for Double Jeopardy are brands by slogan, dog breeds, superheroes, biomes, and we did it, Joe. Joe in quotes, because it will be a famous Joe and we'll be giving you the accomplishment that you have to guess which Joe it is based on that. Uh, so I'm just going to add your scores to the bottom, and then we will get started. All right, Ben. Since you have the lowest score total going into this round, you get to pick first. Um, let's do superheroes. 2000. 2000. All right. This 1992 film starred Danny DeVito and Christopher Walken as the villains Penguin and Max Shrek, respectively. All right, the correct answer is, what is Batman Returns? Ben, still with you. Uh, we'll do superheroes, 1200. This Marvel character's species is classified as Flora Colossus. Uh, Zach? That was Groot? That's was correct. Groot. Ah. Groot. All right, Zach, you pick. Uh, we'll do superheroes for 1600. Okay. Incredible Hulk, released in 2008, stars this actor as the title character. Anyone? All right, the correct answer is, who is Edward Norton? Mm -hmm. Zach? Uh, yeah, superheroes for 400. This X-Men character has the ability to control metal. Zach? Who is a Magneto? Magneto? Yes, that's correct. And then superheroes for 800. As of May 2020, this superhero has appeared in the most Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. No, Stan Lee does not count. Uh, Zach? Was Iron Man? That's incorrect. Ben? Who is Black Widow? That's incorrect as well. Anna? No? All right. The correct answer is who is Captain America? All right. Uh, Zach, you still pick them. Uh, we'll do biomes for 400. Okay. Animals living in this biome include Arctic foxes, caribou, and snowy owls. Zach got that first. Uh, what is a tundra? Yes, that's correct. Uh, biomes for 800. This biome makes up more than 50% of Sudan's land area. Zach? Uh, what is savanna? That's incorrect. Ben? Uh, what is the desert? That's correct. All right, Ben, you pick. Um, let's do We Did It, Joe, for 800. For 800, okay. As legend has it, an Iowa cook in the 1930s named Joe created the sandwich that rose to fame when he added tomato sauce to ground beef. Uh, ben, you forgot to put your hand down for that one. But yeah, I think I forgot to put it down. First. Um, um, what is a sloppy Joe? Yes, that's correct. Oh. Okay. 
Um, we'll do We Did a Joe for 1200 This podcast host show, which includes his name in the title, won the first ever iHeartRadio Award for Best Comedy Podcast in 2019. Ben? Who is Joe Rogan? Correct. All right, Ben, you pick. Um, let's do Brand by Slogan 1600. Still the only one cats ask for by name. Zach? Uh, what is Fancy Feast? That's incorrect. Ben? What is Meow Mix? That's correct. I'm going to be disappointed in you. <laughs> All right, uh, Ben, you pick. Um, let's do Brand by Slogan 1200. And that is the first daily double on this board. All right, so you have $3,600. How much would you like to wager? Let's wager it all. <laughs> wow, okay. Here we go. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Uh, what is Hershey's? That is incorrect, unfortunately. Oh. What are M&Ms? So unfortunately, you lose it all. But you can still gain it back. And it's your pick. Let's do brand by slogan 2000. Okay. Think different. Ben? What is Apple? That's correct. Just like that, you're back in it. <laughs> All right, Ben, you pick again. Uh, we'll do brand by slogan 800. Okay. The quicker picker upper. Zach? What is Bounty? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we'll do We Did a Joe for 1600. This baseball center fielder, nicknamed the Yankee Clipper, still holds a record for his 56-game hitting streak. Zach? Who's Joe DiMaggio? Yes, that's correct. And then we did a Joe for 2000. This actor won his first Oscar award for a supporting role in the 1991 film Goodfellas. Zach? Who's Joe Pesci? That's correct. Um, we'll do biomes for 1200 Vegetation composed primarily of cone-bearing, needle-leaved, or scale-leaved trees are found in this type of forest. Zach? Uh, what is coniferous? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Biomes for 1,600. And that is a daily double. Holy. Okay. Uh, so how much would you like to wager? Uh, I'll do 4,000. 4,000. Okay. Eurasian steppes and Argentine pampas are examples of the temperate type of this biome. Uh, what is a temperate rainforest? No, that's incorrect. The correct answer is what are grasslands? Mm -hmm. So unfortunately you lose 4,000, which brings you back to 6,600, but still in the lead mm -hmm. and you pick. Uh, we'll do biomes for 2,000. Okay. The tidal mouth of a large river where the tide meets the stream these form a transition zone between rivers and marine environments. Anyone? All right, the correct answer is, what is an estuary? Mm -hmm. All right, Zach, back to you. Let's do dog braids for 400. The 1992 film, Beethoven, is all about a dog the Newton family decides to adopt, wait, <laughs> to adopt a dolphin. <laughs> It's a little messed up, but Zach. Um, what is a St. Bernard? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh, we'll do dog breeds for 800. Okay. This dog breed is ever present in Buckingham Palace. Zach? What is a, uh, what is a Great Dane? That's incorrect. Hannah? Um, a King Charles Cavalier. No, that's incorrect as well. Ben? All right, the correct answer is what is a Corgi? Oh. All right, Zach, you pick still. Uh, dog breeds for 1,200. This is the national dog breed of France, though they're originally from Germany. Zach? Um, what is a collie? That's incorrect. And Anna? What is a poodle? That's correct. Right, Anna, you pick. Um, dog breeds for 1,600. Donned with a blue tongue and a lion-like appearance, this Chinese dog breed does not like to sit still. Anyone? Oh, Anna? 
What is a chow chow? That's correct. Um, dog grease for 2000. Nicknamed the Royal Dog of Scotland, this dog was bred to hunt and recently took the gold for best in show in the 2020 National Dog Show. All right, the correct answer is what is a Scottish Deerhound? Anna, still with you. Um, let's do we did it, Joe, for 400. Alongside his two brothers, this singer finally reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2020 with their hit song, Sucker. Zach? Uh, who is Joe Jonas? That's correct. And we will end with Brand by Slogan for 400. The snack that smiles back. Anna? Goldfish. What is goldfish? <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right. So finishing up our double jeopardy, Zach is still in the lead with 5,400. Anna is pretty close behind with 3,400 and Ben has 2,000. So it's really still anyone's game. It's all gonna come down to this final Jeopardy. So let's find out our final Jeopardy category. It is no homo, which means <laughs> that the answer <laughs> is going to include, oh, I got the 10 minutes. Uh, the answer is going to include hetero in it. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> yes. So I will give you guys one moment to pull out your phones because you're going to text me your wagers. Um, and it is out of however much money that you already have that you would like to wager. So you know, Ben is at 2,000, Ben is at 3,400, Zach's at 5,400. Once I get all of the wagers, then we will begin. Okay. I have received all the wagers, so now I'm going to reveal the question. After I finish reading, you'll have 30 seconds to text me your answer. Here we go. A difference in coloration in two anatomical structures or two parts of the same structure which are normally alike in color. For example, two different colored eyes. You have 30 seconds starting now. So we will start with Ben, since he was in last place. Um, and Ben answered, what, what is heterochromatic? And we are, we've decided we're going to accept his answer. The answer is heterochromia, but heterochromatic would be the condition of having it as well, just different form. Uh, so Ben wagered 2,000. I'm going to up that to 4,000. Yay. <laughs> uh, then we have Anna, who said, what is heterochromia? Anna wagered 3,400, all of it, and she was correct. So she is doubling that. So she is at 6,800. Finally, we have Zach, who said, what is heterochrome? I don't believe that this is a correct form of the word, but I'm going to Google very quickly. One moment. I just want to make sure that we're playing completely fair. Okay, it says that heterochrome is the adjective for heterochromatic, so we're going to accept that. And he wagered 1,400. We have a tie. <laughs> we are tied. 6,800, 6,800. So I think that the <laughs> most fair way to settle this is to have Zach and Anna both come back for the next round. Oh, I'm down for that. Yeah. Yay. Sorry about that, Ben. But I think that Zach and Anna both deserve another shot after that. Good job, guys. Good thank job. You. So thank you, all three of you, for playing today. 
we had a great time and it was a very you guys were all really great and it was a really close competition so i look forward thank you to for it. having us yeah Okay, stop. Oh, wait. I'm still recording. Yes, that's left. Look at that. There we go.